BCFC one Hungerford two. Chris, a disappointing result. Extremely disappointing when you consider the uh, nature of it as well. Um, we came out of blocks really well. Started off ex exceptionally well. New guy got into the game. Uh, first 10, 15 minutes. I mean, for some sort of inexplicable reason, we seemed to take our um, foot off the ball. Um, allowed them to come back into the game. Numerous chances. I mean, we, we went close a couple of times. Adams had a good shot on the turn there, which just beat the um, keeper, uh, but it also unfortunately um, went past the upright. And then uh, Lowe's cross, which was deflected onto the inside of the post there. Um, it, could have, it could have been so much different first half, but to go in sort of nil-nil, when we probably thought we deserved to be at least one nil up. Um, it was disappointing. We came out second half, went all guns blazing again for the first five minutes. We got the penalty and... Um, from there on, you would have thought we'd, we'd drive forward and try and get a second and a third, and it just it just didn't happen. It just wasn't wasn't meant to be. And uh, then Cole was uh, penalised for what we weren't sure. It looked very soft from where we were standing up on the commentary position. We've just seen the uh, penalty on the video up in the media suite there. It's never a penalty in a million years. And uh, I don't know whether the referee thought our penalty was a bit soft and tried to even things up a bit, but it's it spoilt the game. And, and then to concede uh, with such little time left on the, on the clock, it's just uh, it's really disappointing. But there wasn't the same bite or intensity in that midfield today. We lacked a lot of intensity, intensity and desire. For me, they're the two they're the two things you need to win a football match, and we didn't have them today. In the first half, we actually commentated on them, and we said, we're losing this in the midfield. Midfield aren't winning balls, they're not getting their foot on the ball. Um, they're certainly not, not feeding the strikers. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's where I think we lost the game. I really do. We, we were, I mean, we gave them so much possession, especially towards the end of that first half as well. Um, it's just not good enough, really. But sometimes this happens. Sometimes we're just like a light switch, aren't we? We've got we've got all the possession in the ball, we've got all the intensity, and then a flick of a switch, and it's gone. Yeah, um, you can't really add to that. It's a perfect summary. Um, I, don't, I don't know what it is, but we just we just seem to initially do the, the hard work, and then think, oh well, we can sit back now. We've got this, and uh, let other teams into the game. You know, and we've we've done it week in week out. Well, let's get on to um, people's new favourite part of the show. Um, referee. referee watch. I can't remember the ref's name. Uh, but what was your score? Out of 10. <laughs> um, it's a 6, I think. He, he wasn't a bad referee. He, he got most of the decisions right. I think he was a bit harsh with some of the yellow cards he's shown. I've, I've noticed this, not just with him, but with a, quite a few referees recently. They've been really pernickety. I mean, the joke is a yellow card was was a joke. Uh, and then the loser one, I think, was even more of a joke. Um, very, very harsh. Just just have a word with the players, you know, and uh, get on with the game. It's not. It wasn't a niggly game. It wasn't a dirty game or anything like that. Um, certainly, for cards, I don't think were warranted. For those two, anyway. Um, and it's just... Yeah, it's just spoiling the game at the moment. I don't know what pressure they're coming under to, you know, apply the rules. But um, there was an assessor up there today, and he's scribbling away. Um, we don't ask for assessors because it's not fair on them. They can't tell us anyway what's what's uh, happening because it's all confidential. So nosy, ain't you, Chris? Even to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm concentrating. I'm trying. I'm concentrating on the game, mate. So. Uh, we, yeah, end of the day, it's it's really really disappointing to concede a, a late goal like that as well. Um, the guy took his goal really well, to be honest. Let's be, let's be fair. He fainted to go left. Uh, defenders followed him, and he went right, and then just hammered it low. I think Alan might be slightly disappointing, but um, these things these things happen. Unfortunately, um, yeah, there's there's something there's something missing. Something needs to be addressed, and something you know needs to be put right. And that's a fight in spirit because we seem to have lost that at the moment. Well, uh, luckily next week we've got quite a big game. Not my favourite team, neither yours, uh, Dulwich. Yeah, they got hammered 4-1 at Oxford today on the extra turf. So, um, but, but that's one of the results sometimes you don't want when you're playing them next because sometimes that gives them even more intensity to put that result right, especially when it for them, it, us is like, for both of us, it's like a derby. Yeah, I was going to say, for Dulwich Hamlet, we're their cup final, I think. So it's... it's um, it's got to be an interesting game, I think. No holes barred, that one, because we we now can't drop any points. And when you see the games we've got left, none of them are easy games. Um, 
we got Hampton and Richmond Borough at home. Um, we got um, Gloucester City, haven't we? Away, I think so. It's Dartford, Bath City. It's it's difficult, and what with Wilson winning today as well, and they're right on their backs now. Concord, if Concord hadn't been deducted three points earlier in the season for fielding an eligible player, then um, they would have been above us as well now. So it's difficult, it is difficult, and uh, we've got to fight for every point. I mean, nothing less than three points from every game to the end of the season, which is nine impossible probably, but here we go. All right then, thanks, Chris. You're welcome. Yeah.